In this video, I'm going to tell you what are the icon libraries that are great for every kind of UI design or web design. A lot of my students, they ask me, uh, do you design your icons yourself or where you get your icons? So here's my answer. I normally buy big icon libraries where I love the style of that icon library. So I'm going to talk about what are different styles, what are different licenses and where you can get and purchase different icon sets or libraries which are going to help you immensely in your UI design. It is, uh, I think mostly it is a waste of time if you uh, already have a ladder or you have a chair, you have to use it. Don't try to build a chair or a table yourself. You have to use it and you have to uh, uh, save your time as much as you can. So all these icon libraries, they are built by different icon uh, uh, iconographers or whatever you call them. Uh, so they are very expert in making these pixel perfect icons. So um, here are some of the icon libraries which I personally have purchased in the past few years. So this is the one I recently purchased. I think I have purchased it maybe 15 days ago. This is called Simple Line Icons Pro. It is from Graphic Burger. You can also see the post date that it was created in 2015. Anyhow, so main thing you are going to look for is this compatibility. It must have at least SVG. SVG is scalable vector graphic files. They can be expanded and easily edited. Uh, you can edit their colors in Adobe XD, Sketch or Figma, which are the recent tools. So also you can see it has web font. So if someone is a developer and they want to use CSS font file names uh, for these icons, they can do that. They are also have EPS files, which are illustrator editable files, uh, PSD files for Photoshop AI, which is again their source file for Adobe Illustrator, which is great. The, uh, also you have to look for different sizes. You can see over here different um, mobile apps like iOS uh, app icons, they have different uh, uh, you can say set of uh, icon sizes. Uh, so you can see 48 pixels and 24 pixels. They are very common in Android app designs. So this is uh, this is the things you are going to look for. Second is your license type. We are always going to buy a commercial uh, license. Uh, if you uh, sell your items on, you can say Evento or other uh, uh, you can sell, you normally sell your templates or you make templates, then you have to go for extended commercial, um, this license. Otherwise, normally if you design for different clients, you are going to look for commercial. So uh, you can see there are tons of different icons. I normally uh, open this and uh, see what are different roundness of the icons. Uh, what is their edges like. So if it is very edgy or too much rounded, so it has some particular style. I cannot use it everywhere. You can see this one, it is not very rounded or very edgy on the edges, you can see. So this is a perfect fit. I can use it in a lot of different projects. So let's uh, go to the one which has a little bit bigger icons, you can see the, the, the corners over here, they are not very rounded, not too much rounded. So this is a great icon set, you can buy that. So these are the decisions that I normally use. Second one I'm going to tell you, which I really love, there there are a lot of icons. This is, I can, see, I can say that these are perfect icons, really perfect icons. So they named it 5000 perfect icons, new version four. This is by icon 54. I also have purchased this category. These are a lot of detailed icons, a lot of categories, a lot of different styles. And uh, these are the two um, SVGs and zip files. So they have, um, I think you can all, uh, also open in Adobe XD and other tools, but I think they maybe they have um, missed out the listing over here, Sketch and Adobe, uh, Adobe Illustrator. So SVG is fine, this is great. You can also see different dimensions, 24 pixels, and uh, they are perfect. You can see 24 pixels and 30 pixels. So 30 pixel grid is, I think, for iOS. You can see they have written over here. All icons are designed for pre precision. So you can see 24 pixel grid is for Android. 
30 pixel grid is for iOS. So you have to remember this. 30 pixels, 60 pixels, 90 pixels, they are for iOS app icons, iPhone icons, and 24 pixels, uh, 48, 72, 96, they are for Android. So you can see they have, they are supporting a lot of um, uh, different uh, pro formats like Icon Jar. Icon Jar is an app on, uh, you can say, um, a Mac app where you can easily manage your icon sets. PNG, SVG, EPS, Sketch, CSH. CSH is actually Photoshop uh, shapes. Photoshop shapes. So this, these are you can also install them. This is the icon set. This is another one which I already have purchased. Okay, moving to the third one. See, this is six thousand plus material design icons. All the links to buy these uh, icons is in the description below. If you want to follow that description, those are my affiliate links. I'm not going to lie to you. If you want to buy any of these icons, you can use my affiliate link so I can get some profit. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, so here we have another set which is 6,000 plus material design. Material design is for Google. So uh, these are perfectly made for Google, but you can, if you have an SVG file, you can see here are listed the formats, SVG, JPG, uh, PNG, CSH, and all these, these files, you can uh, use them to expand to 30 pixels, and that is all you need to change for them, uh, in them. Okay, so uh, here we have different categories. You can see 180, beauty and spa, ad advertising and media. So all these icon libraries, they have a lot of different categories, which are, you can say, good for a lot of different kind of businesses. So I mostly, by these icons. So here is another one which is Lineo icon. So now we are moving into a category which is a more detailed kind of icons. So you can see over here, these icons, they have more details, more strokes. You can see if we look at over here, more shapes they have, they are more descriptive. So they can be used in, you can say, process of a website or maybe uh, in a lot of different places and they can also be combined with each other. This is a great thing. So this is another one, Lineo or Lineo 1700 plus fully editable icons. I also have this one. This is a recent version, I think 2018. I also have purchased this one. Then we have this squid ink like line icons. Now, if you look closely, you can see these squid ink line icons, they are a bit rounded. So you can see the corners they are in round shape. So this is a little bit of rounded kind of theme, but I think it can work. It is not too much rounded. It can work in a lot of different projects. So I also have purchased this one. Then we have this Streamline Essential Icons. They were released in 2014. I have this whole set. I really love this and I have used it in many mobile apps, even with a lot of my clients in a lot of my design courses. Uh, so their newer version, I think it is available for $81 uh, commercial. And um, um, I normally think it is a little bit much, but uh, you can buy them. I really recommend this one. This one is great. Icon 54, simple line icons are great. This 6000 icons are great. I really love this one. I think you, uh, every designer must have this icon 54. So Streamline has another version 2.0, which they released in 2016. It is a bit more pricier, $117. And they have Streamline 3 Ultimate Pack, which has more than 10,000 or 11,000 icons. And these icons are also very great. They can be used in a lot of places, in a lot of themes, but I think that they are a bit, a bit rounded for me, for my taste, but still I think they are a great icon library. Now, if you cannot afford this 329, I think you should head to their website. This is streamlineicons.com and you can click over here on the buy icon and you can see here they have three licenses, essential packs, 12,000 icons, 31,500. Actually, they are different, three, three different styles. So don't always get, you can say, um, make mistake of thinking that they are 31,000 different icons. They are 
10,500 icons which are in light style, regular style, 10,000 same icons in regular style and in with bold lines. So these are three different styles, they are not different icons. So this is I think the biggest library I have ever seen, uh, but its price is also uh, the greatest. And um, uh, maybe if you can afford it, you can buy just this one and use it in all your different projects. You can see over here, um, this one is also good 4000 line icons or whatever they are saying. Okay, so one other which is icon icons mind. I really love the style of this um, uh, icons. They are also by Icon 54. I really love the uh, whoever the, the designer for Icon 54. They have a great style of design. They have very elegant touch in all different icons you can see over here. So this is another one which I uh, I possess. They are like 2080 icons for iOS, Android, and different apps. You can use them in websites or whatever you have. Next one is, I also have this one, bold line icons. So uh, I was doing some project, I think, uh, I, I don't remember, but I needed something which is like this one. So I can also use them in my website or maybe educational branding or something like that. So I purchased this bold line icons. They also have this education category, uh, coffee and tea category. They are more detailed. You can see over here, more lines, more details a lot of different things. So these icons are not your, you can say your normal day uh, UI um, back or uh, back or front arrows or go back or uh, hamburger menus, they are more detailed. You can use them in a lot of different uh, categories like you can see over here, beauty salons and uh, shops and computers, so they are very detailed. So these icons, they have, a, you can say, different use, different purpose. But I have this one. Okay, so next one, you might have seen it in one of or two of my courses, user experience design course and freelancing course, and you can see these are Futuro or Futuro or Futuro illustrations collection. So this is actually illustrative icons. They are not really icons, but they are a bit of illustrative icons and I have this whole library and I have used it in my two I think courses when I was preparing my slides and I really enjoy using them. So you can change their colors if they, they are available I think in SVG, yes SVG format you can change their colors to whatever you like and maybe you want to change the blue to purple or orange to maybe yellow you can do that. So they are available for $90 and they are a bit less. I think they are 567 symbols. So 567 symbols. Okay, now the last one I have purchased and I really love using it is this uh, Nucleo icon. So this is an app which also give you 29,280 customizable icons and uh, this is how this app looks like. Let me open this app. And it is available for $99 uh, for single user and uh, you uh, one-time payment. This is really great. I love how they have this one-time payment. A lot of other websites, they have subscriptions, which I really hate because I have to pay like, um, in three years, I have to pay like $300 for icons. So this is for teams. If you are a team of 5, 10, 20, 50, you can buy this 249 for teams. Okay, so let me show you how I actually use this. This is Nucleo icon. And whenever I have to uh, get any icon, I can also add different icon libraries into it. So you can see this, this is new Google material icon. These are Nucleo icons uh, that are provided by Nucleo, okay? So if I have to search, I can search over here like um, maybe uh, profit or maybe like dollar. Okay, so you can see I have written dollar and there are a lot of different currency icons over here, colored ones and um, different symbols, different like for example, this one. Okay, so if I try to use something like this, okay. Now you can see here we have the information. This is the name of this icon, money 12, business, finance. These are different tags. You can also add tag if you want to over here. 
You can also customize its stroke. For example, if you want to make it more thick, you can do it over here. Uh, then you can also change the color. But I normally don't do something like this over here. I actually go to export. You can also add them to different projects. Uh, I go to export and select SVG and export this icon because I can easily scale it up so I don't have to worry about it. If I'm using, uh, if I'm doing a project and I want four or five different types of icons, I try to take, uh, you can say the same theme. So for example, I go to 24 pixel size. So you can see they are in the th same theme. Some are filled, some are empty. So I try to select the ones I really need, for example, this one and this one, and I add it to a project, for example, a uh, new project or whatever the name of the project, and I download them or export them simultaneously. So this is how actually to use um, this Nucleo app. You can also switch to different views like glyph, outline, colored. So these are all different styles. For example, I just want outlined so I'm going to go to this outline category. So this is, for example, if I want to search arrow or mostly I have to use like tick. So you can see these are different styles of ticks or okay arrows or signs. So you can use them, all of them whenever you need. So they are almost, they are in a similar style. This is very important. Whenever you are buying, um, when you are buying any icon library, they have to be in a particular style that you can use everywhere. Few more I'm going to mention over here are from UI8.net. Uh, I can't tell you there are more libraries, but I think these are the ones I really liked or enjoyed. They have great style. They are very different from other icon libraries. You can see over here, here we have different 10 categories clean nodes, consistent, four styles. So these are different icons you can see over here. These are the categories, business finance. And another one which I really love and enjoy is this one. I haven't bought it yet, this uh, Lion King icons. These are uh, a lot of different icons. I think 1000 unique icons and they are very detailed. You can see over here, the details over here, over here. So you can see rich in details, thick control, thickness controls. You can make them more thick or light or very light. This is up to you. So they are a bit, a, a little bit rounded, but I think they can work in a lot of situations in a lot of different websites and projects. So that is all. I think I'm going to finish my, this lesson. This is really getting a, a very um, long. So I have already showed you this. These are the last two. I haven't bought them yet, but all of the others I have showed, I have bought them. Uh, expect this essential Streamline 3 or Streamline 2. So I haven't bought these two. You can go to their website to buy this Streamline 3. I think if you can afford it, I think this is a great pack. Uh, you have to buy once and that is all. So uh, now I'm going to finish my this lesson by saying only one thing, whatever you have to buy, they have to be in design into a similar theme. I have seen a lot of designers that they uh, download free icons from different sources and they are not going to match up in their style. So that is all. If you have any more recommendations or any icon library you enjoy a lot, you can uh, tell me in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and um, press the bell icon because I'm going to make a lot of videos now uh, like these. I hope you will buy any of these design icons and uh, uh, till then, till the next video, I'm going to say bye, take care and enjoy.